Reports continue to come in from all over the Empire as Zarin's forces press their campaign against critical Imperial installations, focusing on any Tie Advanced facilities in particular. With the loss of our primary factories and research base in the Omar system, we must quickly try to secure any remaining facilities. The two ZA-13 plants near Omar are of particular importance and must be saved. These facilities assemble the hyperdrive engine unit that gives the TIE Advanced Starfighter its unique hyperdrive capability. This same hyperdrive unit can also be converted for use in the TIE Defender. We have already detected a small strike force around the plants and freighters are currently looting the factories for supplies. You will be flying the TIE Defender designated Alpha-1. Along with your two wingmen, you will hyper in along with a full squadron of assault gunboats armed with proton torpedoes and quickly dispatch any hostile ships defending the freighters. You will then disable the freighters before they can flee with our equipment. Once all ships have been neutralized, a second wave of ships will jump in. Assault transports will board both CA-13 plants and secure them from Zarin's control and also capture the disabled freighters. Additionally, two modified corvettes from Admiral Thrawn's task force will be sent in to provide additional fire support as we secure the facilities. Be prepared for any counterattack by Zarin's forces operating nearby. We know that a significant portion of the fleet has joined his traitorous cause and as such, you may be facing any craft the Imperial Navy has to offer. Though we could send in the entire task force to secure the facilities, Admiral Thrawn is understandably cautious about committing his entire force to a single engagement, especially with Zarin's current tactical advantages. In particular, we know he has the bulk of the TIE Advanced Starfighter fleet under his control, and he may even have a handful of TIE defenders in his grasp, though our intelligence analysts suggest that Zarin will likely keep these in reserve for now. Watch for escaping transports from the plants. They may contain officers that we can capture and interrogate. We must learn all that we can about Zarin's future plans. Zarin's forces are on the run, looting or destroying everything as they flee. With our primary factories at Omar gone, we must try to save and secure any remaining TIE Advanced factories. The ZA-13 factories were under the direct supervision and control of Zarin and are being looted for supplies. You will first hyperspace in and secure the area from any hostile forces, then disable any ships carrying stored materials. Once the area is secure, assault transports will arrive to board and capture both factories, securing them for the Empire. Modified Corvette's Murat will also hyper in to help secure the area and cover the transports. Be prepared for any counterattack by Zarin's forces. They have some of the best craft in the fleet. Zarin's forces are on the run.
stopped Zarin's forces from stealing vitally important hyperdrive units that could have been used for building TIE Advance or converted for use in building the TIE Defender. From the current round of attacks from Zarin's forces, it is clear that they are securing supplies of Starfighter components while at the same time destroying the Empire's access to this same war material. Zarin is looking to gain a clear technological advantage. Meanwhile, you also helped us retrieve most of our top secret materials that were stolen from the ZA-13 facilities by Zarin's forces, as well as capturing and securing the facilities themselves. We may continue manufacturing the hyperdrive units and converting them to produce the TIE Advanced Fighters directly if needed. Good work. Excellent. You captured a transport that contained officers loyal to Zarin. Hopefully we can glean some useful information from them. <laughs> 